Hey everybody, so I just want to make a quick uh, video here to demo some new stuff coming in for Coder 409 that uh, uh, should be out sometime in the next week or two. Uh, so today the things I worked on were basically improving the four coder build system so that um, uh, there would be a jumped error built into the default four coder. Uh, it's going to be available at the uh, in the um, sort of experimental customization layer for one or two builds just to make sure it's solid and then if everybody who's at that level says that everything looks good I will go ahead and um, move that into the the all of the levels um, of uh, patreon backers so um, here's basically what I've got uh, in this new system. Uh, the idea here is that 4Coder will be um, it will have, uh, it's got jump to error and the compilation view it will try to take up as little space as possible um, when it shows up on screen and it would be kind of nice to say that maybe the compilation view doesn't exist at all but it's not clear to me how to do that in a way that still lets you see the error information or the success information that you sometimes want to see. So here's what it does do. You can see I'm sitting here in a um, uh, code directory that has a build script. So that still works the same. It, you you know you hit the build key and it looks for the build dot bat and then you can go into your own customization and change what script is calling if you want but the basic idea is still the same. You hit the key to whatever it is in the default bindings, it's Alt-M, and that triggers the build. So let's see what that looks like. Boom. So you can see that instead of doing what 4Coder used to do, which is take over one whole panel and put the compilation view there, it's now just put it in this tiny little compilation view right here. And now, uh, as another feature, up until now the customization layer has had no um, great way to sort of control the size of a view when it does a split, but now it can. So you can see that I created a view and made it small right away, which is a feature that wasn't available until um, until 409. 409 will be the first version that can do that. Uh, this new system also doesn't ever switch to the compilation view unless you click on it, right? So I can use my switch key to go back and forth between the actual, the main panels, but it'll never switch to the compilation panel. So uh, if you do want to look at the compilation panel, you can click on it and look at it that way. Uh, and the next thing it has is it has jump to error. So uh, if I just hit Alt N, which is the, the default key that I've set for uh, jumping to the next error, it will take us to the correct file you can see and the line number listed in the Visual Studio uh, error information. So so far it only parses Visual Studio error information. I'm going to try to add in parsers for G++, LLVM, um, you know, whatever else people want. Um, I'll try to just support all of those by um, uh, by default in the in the system as I build it out. Uh, but for now it's got Visual Studio built in and that's all. And you can see I can go through the errors um, forward and it manages to go back and forth between multiple files, loading the file if needed, um, and I can go forward, I can go backwards, and then another feature that this has is it can find the compilation view and close it um, directly, so I can hit Alt, comma to kill the compilation view when I'm done with it. So that's the whole new uh, system, and the idea is that the workflow will be quite similar to what I already have done with 4Coder, where you just build when you need to, but now instead of losing a whole view when you do that, you'll just have this tiny one here, and I no longer will have to, you know, manually jump to the lines I need, I just hit Alt N and it takes me to the error I need to look at, and as soon as I'm done with that view and I figure out what's wrong, right, in this case it looks like my node pointer function got named incorrectly, as soon as I fix that, and I'm happy with the build, and I don't think I need the view to take up any space anymore, alt comma moves it away, and I can continue writing code with two full views uh, of code. So that is uh, one of the things available in 409. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.